Net with Charm Gravy Crochet. How you doing today? Today is April 2nd, um, 2024. So I trust everyone had a happy Easter for those that celebrated Easter. Um, if you were on the receiving end of going, of receiving gifts, or if you were on the going end and going places, I hope you had a safe, good time. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, we did, we had guests in, um, my daughter and my granddaughter and some friends of hers. We had a nice meal, um, and that was wonderful. Uh, then yesterday was April Fool's Day. Uh, I placed a nice yarn order. Uh, I'm blaming Nancy from She's Got Yarn Too. It's all her fault. Uh, and when I ordered it, they said it would be in on April 1st. That was an April Fool's joke on me because I still don't have it. Not that um, it's been like a long time. I think I ordered it on Thursday. I can't remember exactly what day I ordered it on. Um, but she had posted a video where she got this really great deal on Picasso in the rainbow color. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So I went over there. They didn't have it anymore, but I ordered other stuff. I don't order from uh, yes, uh, yes. <laughs> ice very often, um, so I'm excited to get it because I, like I said, don't order uh, order often. I just buzzed over there real fast, um, and they sucked me in, so there's that. Uh, so that was my April Fool's joke on myself, I guess, or Ice played it on me. I don't know which, but it's still not here, and today's the second, so... It'll get here. I mean, I'm not worried about it. It's with the shipper. It's, um, it is what it is. Uh, so let's see. So that's the, I have actually ordered twice, two different yarns, but two different places. Um, the ice was just because, uh, the other yarn that I ordered, I will tell you about, I am making a, um, this was a test pattern from Pamela, from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. She made a top. Um, she designed a top. Let me see. I know the tutorial was out. Uh, she designed it and asked me to test it when I was in Florida. Uh, crochet Summer Top. That's all she calls it. Um, actually, I'll show you the picture. Uh, the pattern has been released in a tutorial and probably written form. I love it. It's wonderful. Um, my daughter wanted me to make it for her in the form of a cover-up. I changed the color pattern just a little because the yarn that I wanted to use for a cover-up is um, Cotton Fair, uh, Premier Cotton Fair yarn. Uh, so it comes in those donutty kind of cake things. 317 yards, 290 meters, three and a half ounces at 100 grams, 52% cotton, 48% acrylic, um, and it's a fine number two. I think this is my third ball of the white. And final, it's the last one, no matter, because I had some caked up from something that I was going to make before and didn't. So I don't know if I had two or three balls, but whichever, this is the last one. Um, I On Easter, I had her hold it up. I was, where's my stitch marker? Not that stitch marker. Dina from Homespun Fun had this fabulous idea of when you make a project that's got panels, do all the panels at the same time. Two rows here, two rows there, two rows of the next panel, as many panels as it requires, so that your attention should remain consist more consistent um, panel to panel. So I thought that was a fabulous idea. And I was, actually the stitch marker is a little high. I was like more here on this when I did it. Um, and we decided that probably of the white section. Now in Pamela's, she does, uh, I have maybe three of the variegated, but I didn't have the individual colors. So 
this is why my pattern is a little, my color pattern is a little different. Um, we were, uh, Pamela's has the window row and then a solid color, a different solid color and another window row. Uh, and then, or, so it's, she's got like a pink, a green and a pink and then the white or cream or whatever color of window. So all the windows are white and all the, there's three rows here of stitches. And so pink, green, pink, pink, green, pink. Um, and at the bottom, hers were alternating. Well, I only have red, white, and blue, which is what Amanda wanted it in, in the variegated. So at the base, the start, <clears throat> I did the variegated for all the rows that she had color. And then I was supposed to do three rows of windows and then go back to the color, except I forgot to switch and I got all the way up to here. And I said, that's okay. <laughs> so, because I was doing both panels. So I got all the way up to here on both panels when I realized I didn't switch when it was time to switch. So I switched on this one. So that's my color pattern is we're going to go, um, the the window row, then the solid row in all white, and then a, a solid row of variegated. And then, you know, so we're doing the variegated every other solid section. Okay, so that's how that's working. <coughs> so the, the color choices are different, but the pattern is still the same. So now we have two sections. I have two sections of window variegated up to the white. Now it's time to start the variegated again. Um, and my sections are the same length. <coughs> my tension does vary a little bit this way. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, my, my tension does vary a little bit on the width, but when you sew it together, it'll be fine. Um, we held it up to her and decided, I said she needs two sections of white. Um, and it'll end on the blue section, you know, on the variegated section. Like that's what we'll sew it together with is the variegated. Um, and I wasn't sure that I would have enough white on my last skein if I'm going to do two more sections of white. Um, I think don't know the two sections is really going to be necessary. It might only need to be one. Um, she said go two to three. Well, if I go three, it's going to be past her knees. She's not going to want it that long, I think. So anyway, that's, that's the debate. Is it going to be two or three sections of white or one section, one more section? Because I was just at the solid part of this, I think. Um, I, don't, I put a stitch marker in here. And left it but that's not where it was because I added two I think I was more closer to this so we're gonna move it to where it was so I'm thinking at least one more maybe two sections of white um, but I'll see her before then I'll make her stop over or something so um, because I wasn't sure that I was gonna have enough but I mean they're getting pretty long and that's a pretty good length. Let me stand up. You won't get much of a visual. So if I set my shoulders, it it covers my belly. So yeah, I think just one more section maybe. Or a section and a half. I don't know. But anyway, um, Mary Maxim put out yesterday a one day only uh, one cent shipping. And they had Cotton Fair on sale, just a dollar off a skein. But I thought, well, you know, I only have to buy one skein, <laughs> I think, because um, they were $4.99, I think, uh, and one cent, cent shipping. It didn't matter how much you spent. So I'm like, oh, that's the best opportunity to buy this. Uh, so I did. I think I bought two, and then they had other stuff. I didn't spend a lot, um, but I did buy and uh, that's not here. Obviously, I just did that. I think it was yesterday. It was, a, I think, the one cent sale for April Fool's Day or something. So I have that yarn coming, but I that was mostly bought with a purpose. So 
that's the catch up on that part on that project. Then I have, um, oh, here it is. Uh, Angela from my precious yarn ring, you know, I'm doing testing a pattern for her and I can't show you the pattern so much, but I can, I showed you the yarn the other day and she said that we can show the pattern, um, because she's going to be giving it away free. So this is how much I have left of the first skein. Um, and isn't it gorgeous? I love the colors. They're so bright and cheerful. Uh, the pattern is, a, it's, it's, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, it's going to be a pointy shawl. Uh, but that's okay. I will make it until I have two skeins done. Because that's how much I have and what else am I going to do with it. Um, but I love it. And I think the colors are fabulous for summer and spring. So I want to get it done before camping season because I will wear this. Um, in the summertime, I wear a lot of just pullover one-piece sundresses because they are so daggone comfortable and lightweight. Um, so this will go with, I have a blue one, I have a green one, I have a pink one. Um, I don't have orange, but you know, maybe I'll get one. And yellow, orange and yellow, I think I need those in my life to go with that shawl if it gets a little chilly or whatever. So that's living in this elephant bag. Um, and I'm loving that project. Then I have this project. This is the blanket that I'm making for my group, for my nephew for his wedding shower. It is the uh, Bag O' Day uh, Rectangular Bavarian Blanket. Now this yarn hates me. I, I've just decided that the yarn hates me. This is Hirschner's Cheerful DK. Very, very nice yarn. But it's a slippery yarn. And I, we've had this conversation over um, my getting along with this yarn. <laughs> because it wants to fall off my hook. Uh, at least when I have a lot of it on the hook, it wants to fall off. Uh, so I went to a different hook that is... Um, I had a really good word for it. Uh, it has a better drag to keep the yarn on the hook. And so I was doing that. But then, because the drag made it slower, I'm still... I wasn't dropping stitches, but I still wasn't going any faster. Um, and it's a three weight, you know, because it's a DK. And I'm using a five millimeter hook. And I think the, you know, it's going to be real pretty, right? It's elegant looking with this you know, nice, sleek, shiny yarn. I've put a lot of time into this because I keep making mistakes. Like, I've decided I probably should put a stitch marker in every single corner so that I don't forget it's the corner and I don't not add, not do it correctly because you have to make changes at the corner. Um, <clears throat> because I've had to rip out and then it takes, you know, twice as long. So, um, but now I'm having a real problem because every time I hold it up, I'm like looking at it and I'm like, what is wrong? There is something wrong. I can't figure out what's wrong. So I started counting bumps here. One side has one more set of bumps than the other. This side is not as wide by one section. And that goes all the way back to the beginning. I need to frog the whole thing. This yarn has a little bit of a halo. It doesn't frog so well. I'm so aggravated. <laughs> aggravated is a good word with this project <laughs> and this yarn that hates me. This is not the first project I tried to make out of this yarn. And it wasn't working up fast enough. It wasn't, it just, it's a slow work up yarn for me. Um, and I don't have time to refrog this and start it all over and put that time back into it. And it's a, it's just works up slow for me. This, the silkiness of it and I don't get along. So it will get frogged it, and 
I will make the blanket, but I'm not making that blanket in this yarn for my nephew. So this yarn, I'm not frogging it right now. I'm just, it's going up to the yarn room um, where it will live until it finds the right project that maybe I'll just continue to make that blanket or maybe a beautiful shawl. It, by the way, just on a side tangent, did you guys see that shawl that Bag Day came up with? Oh my God, I totally love it. And I think it would be gorgeous out of that yarn and just do it as one salad. It's a DK yarn. Um, it's acrylic. She prefers, she says it's better to do with the natural fibers like a bamboo or whatever. Um, but I think it would, with all the texture in it, be really pretty in a solid color yarn. Elegant looking versus just fun. The way it is now, it's very fun. But I, you know, with the multiple colors. Um, but I'm mad at that yarn, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, and it's not the yarn's fault that I messed it up. I mean, I messed it up. There's no doubt about that. But I don't have the time or the desire to start it again and work with that yarn. So I picked out different yarn. I'm going to do the same pattern because I really like the pattern. You know, recently in a video I said that I usually don't make the same pattern more than once. Um, I've made a Bavarian stitch in a pot holder and I enjoyed doing it, um, but I was using a, a two weight yarn, two weight cotton yarn for that pot holder. And it took a minute, but you're doing treble crochets. The whole thing is trebles. And I, I love doing trebles. I think they're fun. Um, and I, I really like the look of this rectangular Bavarian. So I'm going to take a page from Shannon. Um, uh, what is it? What is she? Shannon the yarn at a Shannon. Oh goodness. I see her logo on a yarn addict. I think I don't, um, something anyway, she'll be linked. She's so much fun. If you don't know Shannon, go check her out. She's a great deal of fun. Um, but she is used making the same blanket or she's made one already and she used skinny cakes and a six millimeter hook. Six is my favorite. Um, it's my chocolate hook. Now my nephew and niece, their, um, their decor is very, uh, neutral, black, white, some gray. What do you think? Huh? Black, white, and, well, no white. It's just shades of gray. Um, it will go really nice in the decor that they have picked out. Uh, they've got a lot of silver and um, so I think this will go. According to Shannon, this does work up pretty quickly. It's not going to give me a falling off issue. So the only issues will be my own errors. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have too many of them. I mean, it really is kind of a brainless pattern. I just didn't connect right someplace, I think. Um, but if I'm going to start it over, I'm going to start it over in a yarn that I'm going to work with easier than that yarn. So I'm going to use this yarn. It won't be as elegant looking, um, but it'll be much more usable feeling. And I have two cakes of that. The color, oh, I didn't even tell you the stats. I didn't even tell you really much about the yarn, did I? Um, this is Karen Skinny Cakes. Uh, this color is called Bake Baked Alaska. I do want to check and see if they have more of this color, if it's still available, because I haven't looked. I've, I've had this a while. Uh, it is a three weight. It's 8.8 eight eight ounces, 250 grams, 795 yards, um, which is 727 meters. I think, you know, to go over the back of your couch, I think that'll be fine. Um, probably not going to be the heirloom thing I was hoping for, but you know what? That's okay. I don't care. I think it'll be usable and I'm really anxious to get started on it. Um, I'm kind of bummed that I'm tossing that other yarn to the side again, but I am. That's just it. I am. I am what I am. Uh, and I really want to think about that shawl that, um, Bag o Day is making. I think it could be elegant looking in a, in that DK, cheerful DK yarn, but I have, I don't have a lot of three weight cotton. Um, 
and I don't do wool yarns so I don't have any definitely not seven <laughs> different colors but I have seven different colors at least of um, Sweet Divinity which was a three weight yarn from Yarn Bee and so I'm thinking I might do it and do it in those different colors um, I, I have to they're on they're on my coke bottle if you guys have been around you saw my coke bottle that I found it was a display for coca-cola uh, that I picked up at a garage sale for two bucks and I stuffed yarn all through it and I totally love it it's so cool uh, and Laura from Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming keeps wanting me to send it to her and I'm like mm -mm. no no when I move that's coming with me that's going in the yarn room still uh, so anyway I have it's all across the top all my DK, sweet divinity DK's and I thought, you know, she says it's going to be several different tutorials and they're like an hour each. I think she said five or seven. I don't know. Um, so you can do like, do it. I mean, there's no, I can do it one color or one row a week or whatever, if that's what I want to do. Um, because I think it's really, really pretty and it's big. And I like that out a lot. It's, it's like down, um, uh, covers her rear end like onto her thighs like it looked like to me uh, and I she's taller than I am so it would be bigger than I love shawl I don't wear a lot of shawls but if I'm gonna wear one I want one that I can wrap up in and I'm a big girl so it needs to be big uh, I'm not tall <laughs> but I got some fluffiness and um, I want it it would be if it's big enough that it stays on that's even better fiber spider has a tutorial that I made um, where it actually increases on your shoulders so it stays on. I love that shawl um, for that very reason. Um, so that's, I, I really hate starting another whip because I have so many already, but I really love that shawl and I really want to make it. So maybe when I get done with these other things, <laughs> like a couple of the other things that I have going on, um, the other shawl, the, yeah, I got Amanda's thing, um, which that won't be much longer and that'll be done. Uh, the wedding blanket, well, <laughs> uh, Shannon made hers in a week or a couple of days or something, so we'll go with that. Uh, and I am going to start it, I think, today because I'm really anxious to get it. Once it's started, I know the pattern. It's just whatever I messed up on, I have to fix. Uh, so I need to like sit down with a tutorial and start that over. Then um, we have hooker versus hooker for this month. Oh my gosh. We have to do an amigurumi. Um, the hooker versus hooker is the brainchild of Jan from an Alaskan crafter and Laura Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. Um, and it's a challenge. They have the two of them plus a random podcaster who volunteers and has been picked. Uh, each month there's one random podcaster. This month it's Juan the Yarn Addict. Um, he's very excited to participate with them. Uh, if you didn't see their live, it was a real good time, so you should go watch that. Uh, and then there's a subscriber who also volunteers this month for April. It's Christy. And then there's two people, a podcaster and another subscriber, that pick the project and pick up to five colors. Uh, so they picked an amigurumi. Any amigurumi. Um, and the colors, you'll have to watch the video because I don't remember what they are. I have to make an amigurumi for my granddaughter and it's going to be a, a manta ray. It's in this book. Um, Zumagurumi Endangered Animals. Look at that. Oh my god. Can you believe that's an amigurumi? Oh my goodness gracious. I... I can't work with that yarn in black. I would never be able to make that and make it look like that because I would never see the correct stitches. I'm going to make this manta ray, but I can't do it. I can't double dip with this. I mean, this I, my granddaughter asked me to make, so I have to make it. Um, but the colors don't work. <laughs> There's five colors, and he's only three. <laughs> so he's not working. I don't know what else to make. Um, I, I know, I can't remember the five colors. There's an orange in there because that's 
Laura's favorite color. I remember it being orange. I think there's a blue because that's Jan's favorite color. Um, I don't remember all the other colors. I'll have to go watch the video again too. But I need suggestions. I don't know. I guess I could... Um, Look, at, look through my books and see what colors I can make. I mean, because, you know, you can make any animal, any color, really. Like, I could make the fox and make it pink and blue and purple and green and whatever colors I wanted, right? Or look at that hummingbird. He would be a lot of, he would be fun in a lot of different colors. Um, Maybe that's what I'll do is the hummingbird in all the different colors. That would be so pretty. He doesn't have to be green. I mean, he could be whatever colors I want to make him because it's a stuffed animal. So anyway, we have to make an amigurumi. Uh, and I'm struggling with, there's so many options. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I have so many options. Or maybe like a caterpillar uh, where each piece of him is a different color. That would be cute too, right? Uh, and a way to get all the colors in. So maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. Uh, there's no prize. It's just bragging rights. And you don't, if you're not on the panel, you don't even get really, um, you can sit in your picture and you go on the slideshow at the end. Uh, you don't get even bragging rights, you're, you're, but it's just uh, participation for fun. I also participate um, you know, for fun and uh, because I enjoy it and uh, to show support of the, of the channels, uh, same with Laura and Jan, but I do uh, Judy's Witch Piece Craft. I am doing her uh, Shutterbug AU and I am making keychains uh, or backpack but it's just little and I have these miniature mini amigurumi books. Um, I have three of them. I think there's only three for the set but I have the ocean. I have um, animals and birds. So I picked the um, You'll have to watch, I'll put Judy's video. You'll have to watch a video for the colors, but because there's like six different color options, you can use any or all of. On Hooker versus Hooker, you have to use all the colors, uh, even just a little bit. On Judy's, you can use any of the colors or variations of the colors. Um, so I have decided that I'm going to make a walrus. So this is the walrus that I'm going to make. Is he on there? Can you see him? Oh yeah, here he is. Um, they're doing it in brown and I decided the walrus because the picture that she has is of the walrus graveyard. That's what she calls it. Um, and you'll watch the video, but I thought, well, that makes really good sense. Now her picture has, um, some tans and grays, uh, blue and a pink. Um, real neutral and I don't know if they're tans and browns or grays and uh, I'm doing gray I hope that's the I think grays are in there um, well like this color I'm using this this is it's more gray looking there it is uh, an ice yarn and it's actually called beige but it looks like a grayish brown grayish tan in real life, my mind shows it way more gray. So I'm going to use this as the muzzle on him. Um, I have white for the tusks and then his body I'm going to make out of this. This is just elephant gray is what it's called. Um, and these are all Ice Yarns Alera. Um, I bought them from uh, a yarn nut. And she, she isn't selling yarn right now. Um, but you used to be able to go and buy like one skein. And I bought the Solar yarn and bought like one of every color. And this is really nice yarn for making the little keychain things that I like to make. So uh, I decided that for Judy's, I'm going to do the walrus because we're, the picture is of the walrus, grave, or walrus graveyard. And he is going, his body is going to be the gray color and not the brown color. I guess I do have a brown. I could do, wait, 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 wait. Don't mind the crinkle. You know what? I'll do this color. I have to look at the picture again. 
I don't know. I don't have all the ball bands um, for all of these ice yarns anymore. Oh, wait, this one has a ball band on it. Uh, this one is called Light Brown. So I think that'll work. I think I'll do that versus the gray. So I'll do, yeah, this will be the muzzle. This will be the body. Um, because the picture is all, it's it's a lot of neutrals. This, these will work, and that's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be the little walrus, and I'm pretty excited to make that. Um, usually when I do these, I can do these, you know, uh, rather quickly. It's like a one evening kind of project or less. Um, depends on how in, into TV or conversation I am while I'm doing them. They, they don't, there's not a lot of steps. Uh, but you, you have to, these are not no so, which really kind of sucks because no so is so much better. Uh, I'll probably have to sew on the feet. Uh, everything. Everything is going to have to be sewn. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I can wing it. <laughs> um, but um, that's what we're going to do. And I'm excited to make the little walrus uh, it, representative of the walrus graveyard. I'm looking around to see if there's anything else we need to talk about. No, I don't think so. I haven't worked on any other projects. Just those three. Um, I think I will do the hummingbird. Don't tell anybody it's a secret. I haven't decided for 100% sure though. I like to be able to make things out of my own books. Um, because then I feel like I'm using the books that I spent money on. <laughs> or someone spent money on for me. Um, that, that makes it better. So uh, that's it. That's what I have for you today. Uh, thank you for coming and watching me again and again. I appreciate it so very much. Um, that's all I have for you. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, and if you're going to do the bag of day blanket or, or, or a shawl, let me know. Put it in the comments. I'm interested. What yarn are you going to use? What colors are you going to use? Um, if you know of a quick and easy amigurumi or if you're going to do one uh, for the hooker versus hooker uh, let me in on your secret what are you going to make and I know what colors you're going to use because you don't have a choice there um, and the same with Judy with Witch Piece Crafts she does do a giveaway with hers at the end of the month um, if you participate you get uh, you have to put a picture you know send her the picture put it on her Facebook group um, and you can make anything. Uh, you can add to a certain project every month. It's twice a month, the 1st and the 15th. Um, so you can add to one project or you can make, like I do, just a new project every month. But I'm just doing a little project. And I don't participate in the giveaway because I'm just doing it to support her channel. Um, and because I love Judy. She's she's wonderful. She knits, she crochets, she does makes her own stuff she's the tea cozies that she makes which i never even heard of until i started watching her channel but uh you know here in the u.s we're not big tea toters oh and um i've never known anyone to have a tea cozy uh my family doesn't drink tea really at all so uh, anyway i've never heard of one of those until i met judy <laughs> and she's done some really cool tea cozies and she's very creative and uh, quirky and fun and well-traveled. So she always has cool stories about places that she's been, which I totally love. So anyway, that's all the things that I have going on right now and that I have actually worked on. I have you all cut up. I don't know when I'll be back. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not that I'm going away anywhere. When my yarn comes, there'll be another video for those for sure, because you're going to want to see what I bought, right? I want to see what I bought. Somebody is coming to my door. Um, okay, I'm going to let you go. Bye.